Welcome back to another video here in the channel. And in this one, we're going to be doing the NHL 2022 playoff bracket challenge. So I think it's the first time I ever record uh, a, a bracket challenge on computer. Um, nah, wait a sec. Yeah, I had one last year. Yeah, I had one last year. Wait a Yeah, exactly. I had one last year. So we're going to get right into it here. Create a bracket. Uh, I'm, I normally make a lot more graphic brackets here. I do a lot of brackets in a lot of other leagues to actually see if I can get different, you know, the real result. I try many times. But this one is going to be my main bracket. Let's get right into it. Bracket name. Uh, main. Okay. Uh, bracket name already exists. Main bracket. Oh my god. I, I, I hate when they do things like this. Like these. Uh, I, I did not even want. Uh, yeah, exactly. I had a typo. Uh, piss off. Oh my god. What the hell is even happening, bro? Looking funky right now. Gallo brackets. All right. Just go. Just go. Just go. Okay. So, we're going to start off in the east. All right, we're going to start off in the East. Wait a sec. Let me just check something real quick. All right. Uh, it, it's, it's good so far. Yeah. So, okay. Let's start off in the East with the Panthers against Washington. The Panthers are President's Trophy winners. And, uh, again, ever since winning the Stanley Cup, by the way, the Capitals have not won a playoff series since winning the Stanley Cup. So they made the playoffs every year since, but they have not, uh, well, they have not won a series at all. So let's, uh, and I think this streak is going to continue. This streak is going to continue. Uh, wait, how do I go in? Oh, yeah, I, I think I think you click in the end. Oh, number of games. Wait a sec. Right here. Uh, no, I think it's after. But whatever. We go with Florida. And uh, uh, I'm going to go with the uh, number of games afterwards when we're done the bracket. So, Tampa and Toronto. Uh, I'm going to go Tampa. I'm definitely going to go Tampa. Is it, it looks clip clickable, but apparently it's not. Boston, Carolina, I'm going to go Carolina. Again, no-brainer for me this time around. Carolina is definitely a superior team. They've dominated the Bruins entirely this year. And I think they have, like, a differential of, like, plus 15 against them, too. too. Like, they crush them every game. And uh, I think it continues in, in the playoffs. They've had their number. Uh, New York against Pittsburgh. I'm going to go the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, I do not trust the Rangers. The, the Pittsburgh Penguins are the more experienced team. Uh, the team overall that actually played better this year, other than goaltender. I, I mean, Jerry has been playing pretty well, too. So let's not act like he has not. Uh, Shesterkin, he's a hard candidate. He, he he's had an an insane year, but honestly, with how bad that Rangers team has played around him and how shaky they have, uh, well, they have the firepower. Uh, well, they have the firepower uh, power. They just it, it's it's being used, I guess, but. Uh, you know, they're not playing very, very well against uh, around Chesty at all. So I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. I'm going Pittsburgh. So, yeah, bonus round. 
Uh, I'm going to go Florida in five. Tampa in seven. Uh, Pittsburgh, I'm going to go Pittsburgh in six. And I'm going to go Carolina in six. This is it. Yeah. And, and, and again, honestly, I think people are counting out Pittsburgh. Oh, they're the worst team in the playoffs. Oh, they're frauds. They're really not. Every team in the East has a has a hundred plus points. Every team that made the playoffs in the East has a hundred and or more points. So I don't know the the logic right here. Wait a second. I'm just gonna accept these terms. So let's continue in the East. Florida, Tampa rematch from first round last year. I'm gonna go Florida. I'm going Florida. Uh, I, 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 honestly, I think their team is built to beat Tampa Bay this time around. Last year, it, it was more like the, the breakout. You know, they showed what they can do, but not quite. But now Florida has a better team. They can really go far, and it's, it, it's their time. It's their time to shine. And if they don't win at least two rounds, uh, they will never have a better chance. It, it, there's no better chance in this one. So that's all I'm going to say. Carolina and Pittsburgh. I'm going to go Carolina. Uh, again, Carolina is the better team overall. And again, they are experienced, way more experienced now to go far in the playoffs. To beat Boston, I know Boston has beat them in the past like three series or, or so. But Carolina has a way better team than they did before. So, sky's the limit for uh, these guys. Florida and Carolina. So, the two best teams of both divisions. Best team in the Atlantic against best team in the Metropolitan. Uh, again, that is very, very hard to choose. Who's going to go to the finals? Florida's first time around, you know, this far. And then you have Carolina. They have experience. They were there in 2019. They were there back in 2019 in that underdog run. So remember that. Uh, Goaltending, I'm going Carolina. Defense, I'm going Carolina. Offense, I'm going Florida. Uh, death, uh, I think I might go Carolina. Honestly, Carolina is better in a lot of categories on paper. F Florida defensively has not been too, too good. Goaltending has started, it's shaky it's at times. Uh, honestly, I think Bob has had a way better season than he's had in the past years since, since signing that contract, that big contract. You know, he's been underperforming for a lot of the time, but for this time around, he's been good this year. He's been pretty good. But Freddie has been better. Freddie has been better. Uh, the only thing for Carolina that might kill them is playoff Freddie, which I heavily doubt. Honestly, I, I just heavily doubt. I doubt it. But I'm going to go Carolina to represent the East in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's let's head to the west right here. Colorado Nashville. I'm going to go Colorado. Uh it's 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 really not that hard. It's not that hard of a choice right there. I I mean Colorado's better at every every single aspect of of this matchup. Every single aspect they are the better team. So I can't I can't really see anything right there. Uh, and especially when when Yusuf Saros is is out, he's gonna be out for the entire playoffs. So he's he's not gonna be coming back at all. They're gonna have David Riddick. David Riddick has been a pretty bad goalie this year. He has not been good. So no, no chance. And and that's because the only chance is Soros. If Soros goes insane, that's the chance here. That's the chance. 
But they really have nothing else here. But yeah, uh, I shouldn't have spent that much time explaining m myself on that. But here we are. Uh, Minnesota St. Louis, that's going to be an insane series. That's going to be a very interesting series. Both teams match up very, very well. Uh, their games have been tight. Their games have been very, very tight. But honestly, I think Minnesota is going to win around this year. I think it's their time. Uh, St. Louis. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if St. Louis wins, it, wins that in seven. I wouldn't be surprised if, if I get the Tampa-Toronto prediction wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if I get the Tampa, uh, the, uh, the Tampa and Florida one and the Florida and Carolina. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the team I picked against actually pulls it off. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if the, maybe the Rangers, but a, a really other story for them. But I'm going to go Minnesota in seven against St. Louis. Next series right here, Calgary and Dallas. I'm going to go Calgary. Calgary's team is built for the playoffs, unlike all the other years. Okay? For Calgary, Jeff Ward... The players have outgrown Jeff Ward. That's why the team was not good. They, like, they did not fit. The players, again, Daryl Sutter, with what he did in, in L.A., he had every player that would comply to a system that fit the system as well. And look at what happened. It brought them two cups. Uh, and they had playoff runs, too. Like, they... Still had deep playoff runs. So, and, and for Calgary, Daryl Sutter is doing the same. Every player on that team complies to his system. Something they didn't really do with Jeff Ward at all. And was very, very apparent. And they just, here we are. Here we are. I think Calgary wins around this year. I will be very, very surprised if they do not do anything again. That, that's going to be very, very surprising. But yeah, man. Calgary is going to win that series in six. LA and Edmonton. That, that's very interesting. Because again, I've had a hard time picking, again, picking Edmonton in series in the past. I've had a very, very hard time doing this. Last year, I had a very, very long time. A, a very, very hard time. And look what happened. They, they got swept. Against a team that did not outplay them at all in any game. But LA is un un unexperienced. LA is unexperienced. For their first playoff appearance in a while. Since 2018, I think. And yeah, they're unexperienced. Honestly, if Edmonton loses this series, it is not going to look good. Everybody's getting fired. Uh, they're probably going to blow up the team. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they blow up the team because of, because of a series loss this year. And especially if it's an embarrassing fashion like, like last year. So, uh, I'm going to go Edmonton. Um, it, it's hard to do that because Edmonton has disappointed. And they have found a way to just lose series in such embarrassing fashion in the bubble last year. Completely embarrassing. But I'm going to go Edmonton. So in how many games? Colorado in five. Minnesota in seven. It goes to the limit. Calgary in six. I think Dallas can grab, snag two games here. And Edmonton in six. I'm going to say Edmonton in... I'm going to go seven games. I'm going to go seven games. Just to be a bit safer. And I wouldn't be surprised if LA wins because the Oilers, they find ways to lose. They find ways to lose. But that's, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's another thing for another day. Colorado and Minnesota. That's where Colorado's hump jumps in. But I'm, uh, but I'm going to go Colorado. I think they get over the hump this year. I think they get over the hump this year and they get... Pass the second round. Because at some point they have to, right? And they have the superior team to Minnesota. So don't disappoint us, Colorado. 
Battle of Alberta here. Calgary and Edmonton. Uh, I'm going to go Calgary. I'm simply going to go Cal uh, in Calgary. Uh, explanation. Calgary has better goaltending. Better death. Better defense, obviously. And... Yeah. Uh, better offense. You, you can argue Edmonton. Uh, you know... Honestly, I'm going to probably give offense to Edmonton. But other than that, they don't really dominate in in any in any aspect of the game. You go their defense is shaky. Goaltending is extremely inconsistent. Uh the only reason why I have them beating LA is because LA is inexper inexperienced. And Edmonton is definitely the better team. So why wouldn't they? But Calgary has a better team in this one. So I'm going to go Calgary. I'm going to go Calgary. Uh, Eastwood Conference Finals, I'm going to go Colorado. Uh, I'm picking Colorado almost every, every year in the past years to win, in, to, you know, to represent the West in its Stanley Cup Finals. But thinking about it, 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 it's realistic. Colorado has had the best roster last year, probably the best roster this year. They've they finished second this year, won the President's Trophy last year. Again, if this team does not win the Cup or at least get there, uh, it is not going to look pretty. It is not going to look pretty. It's, it's Cup or bust. It's cup or bust for this Colorado team. And then I'm confident, again, they have the better team. They have the better team than Calgary in this circumstance again. Uh, goaltending, I'm going to go Calgary. Calgary definitely has better goaltending. Defense, I'm definitely going Colorado. I'm going Colorado defense. Offense, I'm definitely going to go Colorado. And death, uh, it, it looks pretty tight to me. But, yeah, man. Uh, but, yeah, Colorado against Carolina. The same finals I had last year. And, uh, you know, we all know what happened. Both of these teams went out in the second round. Tampa ended up just completely... Killing every single one of them, smacking, smacking Florida, smacking Carolina, and then they end up smacking Montreal in the in the finals. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna go Colorado. I'm going Colorado to win the cup. Tiebreaker, goal scored. Uh, I'm gonna go something towards like 45. You know, uh, I I expect a lot of goals. I expect a lot of goals, but. Congrats, my picks are in. So, tell me what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys can you guys can tell me my your your picks to win the cup and uh, your picks in these rounds. Uh, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.